Welcome to Tip of the Week for Frontiers of Psychotherapist Development. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about the topic of seasons. And seasons are something that if you live in a country, say like in Australia where I'm in, uh, you've of course experienced the four seasons. And in Singapore, where I was from, we are season blind. We we don't experience that. It's just hot, hot, hot all the time. And where this is crucial to think about seasons is to understand the seasonality of our lives. We obsess with straight lines, you know, but progress is not a straight line. Progress usually goes in circles, much like the seasons. And we are often season blind to where we are at in our lives. One of the things I like to ask my clients, especially at the beginning, is what season are they in in their life right now? And this is not just to use the language of summer, autumn, spring or winter, but this is more to help them understand the story, the big story. What, what, what chapter are they in in their life right now? Sometimes I would even say, what would you call this chapter that you're in at this point in your life? And if the language or the metaphors of season helps, I would ask them to think of it that way. Now, of course, most people who seek help are at usually at critical points in their lives, right? So the language of change, the language of wintering, the language of things that are of crises, or at uh, the brink or at critical points are not uncommon. But this is where it ties into the other episode that we talk about the five basic needs. Because when you can identify what season they're in, the season points to the needs of what needs to be attended to. Because most of us are often winter phobic. We are avoiding the wintering seasons in our lives. But winter periods require us to do certain things that are going to be needing to be attended to and not just brushed away. So I remember one time when I was asking Klein about this, you know, and she really took a pause and th thought hard about this. And she described this as a bridge crossing moment in her life. And as she elaborated, she really thought a lot about the changes that was upcoming in her life. But as she described the changes, there was also a sense of loss because the change that was going to be required of her for the person that she wants to become requires her to let go a lot of things in the past. Change is loss, after all, where you have to encounter a new development and also a new letting go of things from before. And then she went on to do a little homework where she drew what this represented for her symbolically. And in her drawing, one of the things that she put down in between was that there is no 100% guarantee. So that is the reality. There is no clear 100% certainty, but yet she was embracing this pathway that she was going. Identifying the seasons of your life, of where you're in, it's like figuring out where you are at before where you need to go. This is so important. And currently, uh, at the time of this recording, I am still writing a particular short book about this the working title for now is called 15 Paradoxical Ideas of Seasons and Needs. So I suspect we might change that. I'm also thankful to the people on the Frontiers group who has chipped in and gave me the inputs um, of, of the manuscript and you know ideas of where it needs to be uh, reduced, where it needs to be expanded. So thank you for that. And if you're keen to be part of the Frontiers, subscribe to our newsletter. Just go to darylshaw.com slash frontiers slash subscribe. And you basically get five recommendations each Friday because it's called Frontiers Friday. And you will be able to be part of the ongoings of what's developing here. And there are new ideas, new recommendations 
they will be provided to you in the bite-sized newsletter thanks for being part of this episode and if you're watching this on video don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notifications of new episodes that come out and i hope for you to be part of our future episodes thanks for being with us